I know I'm uploading these videos very late, but who the hell watches these videos anyway? So, let's get back to the story. Not even when I was dating Taylor. Not really. At least then, I could appreciate I was part of her huge social network. But now, it's just me. So you just want a friend? Yeah. No, not really. It's not like I'm desperate. I don't want to say yes to him just because I'm desperate to be close to someone. There's pathetic. And then, there's pathetic. Then what? It's just, he likes me. He barely knows me. But he feels so strongly that he's willing to embarrass himself for the whole chance to get closer to me. For me. For me. What the fuck is up with that? He pauses. It's weird. It's a weird line of thought. But at least he's finally actually saying what he thinks. Then I thought, maybe it's just desperation. There aren't many boys at school. But, look at him. He's hot. Uh, oh my god. <clears throat> He's hot, man. I don't mean, I don't, you know, I'm not gay. Yeah, sure you are, buddy. I'm not attracted to men. Uh-huh. Yeah, whatever you say, man. It's just objectively, right? You know what I mean. No, I really don't know what you mean. <laughs> uh Probably not the kind of boy who would have trouble finding someone. That's it. I mean, fuck. If he wanted, he could probably have any fag in the world he wanted. I don't think he's desperate. So what do you think then? I don't know. That's... That's the thing, sir. I don't know. It confuses me. I just can't wrap it in... Can't wrap my mind around it. And I, well, I don't know what to do. I guess that's where I'm asking for advice. So, I stare at him. He's asking me what I should do, what he should do. How the hell should I know? I assumed his problem was going to be something simple, something understandable. Bullying, I can get. His ex being a jerk, I can definitely get. Him needing to pick up on the academics, I could give a whole speech on. But this... I guess there's only one thing I can do. <sighs> Apologize for not having the answer. That's why you just give it a shot. Ah... Uh, <laughs> Uh, yeah, yeah, what the hell? Well, honestly, it's kind of hard to put myself in your shoes, but... I pause. I should get my words right. The way it seems to me, do you really have anything to lose by saying yes? I mean, do you really think he's going to push you in anything you don't want? No, probably not. But I don't want to lead him on. That would, that would be a dick move. So don't lead him on. So... He stops to think about it. Although it occurs to me that he's already made up his mind, he probably did a long while ago. He just wanted someone else to confirm it to him. So you tell him you're interested in him, so long as he doesn't push you into anything. I mean, that's true, right? Yeah, I guess so. I mean, really, it's not that I'm attracted, it's just... Who wouldn't be interested in that? Uh, sure. Uh, I sure wouldn't, but I don't say that. Well... Don't just go off my word. 
But it sounds to me that there's... That's what you think you should do. I guess so. There's a long silence. There's not really anything more that needs to be said. Is there? Just... One big pause. So I should just... Talk to him. Yeah. Okay. You're right. I should just talk to the guy. Tell him... Alright. Thanks, sir. That was helpful. I think... I think I've got a pretty good idea of what I should see. How it'll go? I have no clue. But... Trust me, Nolan. When it comes to these sort of things, I don't think anyone has a clue how it'll go. Yeah. Fair enough. Well, thank you, sir. I guess that's all, so... I hope it goes well, then. See you. Yeah, bye, sir. And there he goes. I hope my advice wasn't too terrible, or pushing him to... or pushing him. But honestly, I'm pretty sure I just told him what he wanted to hear. That's probably all he needed. What a strange, strange evening. 11.50 a.m. the next day. The class is staring in intently at the hands out. I just sent them, or at least, I sure hope they are. It's hard to tell when they're always staring at their computers. Remember, the items listed are only suggestions. So long as it's 2,500 words or a five-minute presentation, you can do whatever the hell you want. Yeah, I know that's not what it said, but hey, whatever. <laughs> Is anxious. <sighs> yeah. Anything that's at least 2,500 words? It'll be okay, Fido. Okay, let me be perfectly clear. This is a grade 11 class, and I'm letting you have fun with this, so don't give me any bullshit. If you think it's cheating, then it's then it probably is. I'm not going to give you a good grade. Oh, sorry about that. If your heart's into it, that's fine. But be smart, not clever. Is that understood? Yes, sir. Uh. Okay. Hold on just a moment. That's all for the day. For homework, you have to read. You have a reading response. And please, think about what you'll do for the assignment. Of course, the moment the bell rings, everyone but Charlotte stops paying attention. Of course. But I can try. The class starts to file out, but slower than usual. Hey, Akira? Uh, hi there. If you're still interested, um, I'd like to talk to you about what you said the other day. Wait. Here? Of course not. I thought, um, we could go somewhere more private and eat lunch. Uh, 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 for reals? It's complicated, but yeah, for reals. <laughs> awesome. So where did you wanna, so where did you have in mind? They walk off together. Uh, uh, what you gonna do? It's all about guy love. That's all it is. No way. Did he just... Those two? That was what I thought it was, right? Let's not start any gossip now. I think they both have enough problems right now without having 
the whole class talking about them behind their back. Don't you think? Sorry. You're right, of course. I have no idea what to make of those, of the two of them. Nolan obviously has no idea what he wants, and it's probably going to be more complicated relationship than Akira wants. If there's anything between the two of them, it's going to be crazy. There'll be tons of drama, and it's probably going to make the things worse for them. Still, I can't help but notice that as they walked off, as they walked off together, they both had the biggest smiles I'd ever seen from either. End of chapter 2 Let me just warn you right now, this story is going to end in, end in bloodshed. You, you'll find that you've become attached to a character only for them to be, only for them to senselessly die and it's going to hit hard. So I just want you to be forewarned that there isn't a happy ending here. You should know what you're getting into. There's a lot of value of course and I want you to take good hard look take a good hard look at what that emotional impact means despite the fact that you see it coming. This isn't a story about plot it's a story about feeling. You definitely need to focus on that or you're going to feel like it's pointless. Somehow feel it's like he's talking to me and class at the same time. Yes, Kendall. You have a question? Is the book like a movie? <laughs> I I figured one uh I figured one of the two class Otaku Otaku would ask that. I just wasn't sure if it was going to be her or Kira. It annoys me all the same. Battle Royale the book is nothing like the movie. Aside from the superficially aside from superficially having the same story, you have to understand this is entirely serious. Gotcha, sir. So let me just give you some context for this tragedy before we start. Chapter three. Your real problem is... Oh crap, seven messages. I'm really excited about this unit. I think this could be the one that finally gets the people who don't normally pay attention into it. Hey, sorry about last night. I know it wasn't really a problem. It's just that I... At that time, my parents couldn't wait any longer. Sorry, I didn't mean to be a joke or whatever. I'm watching the rest. Awesome, what a cute couple. Great ending. Yeah, it really was super badass. Kinda we think I was gonna try and go without a quote. Hey, so you never did tell me about the time you were in love. No, well, that sound like you did. You told me about the party this Friday, so I don't think I'll be going be able to go but thanks for inviting me. It's really curious if she's oh. listen. <laughs> uh I never know. It's kinda disturbed by college class. Sure, it's gonna be long. But it's also incredibly exciting. I've got a good feeling about this. The lunch bell rings. It's been oh, it's been down just Charlotte and Isabella eating lunch in the classroom ever since Akira has been spending time with his Nolan instead. Hey, sir, do you mind if I eat in here too? Wow. I think that's probably the first probably the most she's ever said to me. Ever. No, go right ahead. Thanks. You're a real bro, sir. And I'm gonna cut off here, everyone. So thanks for watching and stay tuned for the next video.